Hey everybody, Fatbird Finds here. I'm Mary Beth. And I'm Laura. And Nikki is rummaging in the ice maker. <laughs> we, we, we ran a little close on making the drinks there, but they're going to be good when they get here. We needed like five or ten more minutes. There was a last minute change of plans on the glasses, and so I had to like scramble. Yeah. Hi everybody. Yeah, so thanks Karen for <laughs> noticing. We've been like playing with the lighting and playing with the camera angle <laughs> for hours. That's why we're late making the drinks. <laughs> so we can't ask what are you drinking yet because we're not drinking anything. But I guess we can ask you guys. <laughs> what are you having? What are you guys having to drink? Lori Ann, how about that name change? Right? <laughs> Sugar Bridge's sweet ass stuff. She sprung that on me this week. I'm telling ya. I love it. <laughs> Got my wine glasses tonight. Let's do this. Carrie's noticed your hair. She's already. like hot girl hair. Mm -hmm. Carrie, it's for you. You're the reason that I do that. Carrie says hi, Nikki. Hi, what, kind of, what kind of wine are you drinking, Jamie? Ooh, coffee. If I had coffee this late at night, I probably wouldn't sleep. Also, I don't really like coffee, but that's besides the point. That's neither here nor there. A dirty martini. Ooh, Nettie. Does that mean it's got olives in it? Is that the dirty part? I don't know. Oh. Olive juice? Is it olive juice that makes it dirty? Maybe. Nikki, what makes the martini dirty? I think it's juice, olive juice. We just watched. Juice. We just watched a TikTok of an old Mor uh, Maury Povich show where the girl was like tearing of olives. Of olives. I was cracking up. <laughs> hey, Blind by Beauty, welcome. <laughs> Calypso's having Jack Daniels. Angela sent me a picture of her and her fat bird shirt. Yay. That's exciting. Fat bird shirts went out this week. They did. If you haven't gotten yours yet, it should be soon. We sent out some on Monday and some on Wednesday. It was so funny. It's the first time that we've had to go get the cart at the post office. Yeah. Usually I'm like bringing my um, Ikea bags full of boxes and stacking them up very nice and neat for our little postal lady. But <laughs> those packages they slide the off. poly bags won't stack and i was like oh no what are we gonna do and she's like i'm gonna get you a cart yeah so like, it was good. we've made the big time also this week <laughs> we had another first we ran out of shipping labels so we were we were doing all of our t-shirts and sweatshirts uh sunday night plus our fat birds five stuff from the friday before mm -hmm. and we're printing labels and laura was like <gasps> that was the last label and i was like well surely we've got more and she said <laughs> I don't think so. No, because I mean, I knew that 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 I had put all the labels in the little carrier thing. But the last time I remember looking, there was plenty in there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Cindy Lou, love my tea and hoodie. Yay! Good. So yeah, that's why some of your shirts went out on Wednesday instead. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh wow! If you didn't think the post office. <laughs> Oh, wow. If you think the post office didn't like you before. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We have a few people who work at our post office. There's one lady who's super nice. And then there's a couple that aren't as nice. Oh, I got the nice. We got the nice girl this week. I got the nice lady today, too. You know, oh, I had yeah. those two eBay packages to go out. Mm -hmm. She's like, oh, just let me have those. When I walked in. Wow. Very fancy. Great. Yes. Soco and diet soda. Yes, we've talked about that. I like the diet soda myself. Second week here, not the new girl anymore. Yay! All right, Susan. <laughs> Two timer. I love it. Way to go, Susan. So yeah, if you're brand new, let us know. We like we like our new people. Also, I've got a new um, icon that's popping up on my streamyard, and it looks like a little Wi-Fi signal. Are we coming through loud and clear? It makes me feel like we're buffering or something because it's like a little Wi-Fi signal icon and it's low. And so that makes me feel like we're not doing well. So let me know if we're coming through okay. Yes, you are. Oh, good. Well, who we knows? Somebody right? coming through on Periscope. Nice. Ah, very cool. Welcome from Periscope. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Yeah, that little icon. I've never seen it before. It was Grandma 211's new. <gasps> Grandma 211. Where? Where is it? Uh, down. I got it. Oh, it jumped right when I said Welcome. that. Welcome. We love our new people. Nice. The niche lady, Danny. Hello, Danny. Okay, if you're brand new, um, we do this every Friday night. 
we have a drink, we celebrate the weekend, except we're waiting on our drinks. Nikki's, <laughs> Nikki's working very hard in the kitchen I don't really know. to prepare those drinks. Hi, Mom. There's Joy. Ooh. We've got special ones happening. Look. Yay. Look at this. We're so <laughs> we're so on brand. We're like our own little brand ambassadors. I'm telling you. And then if you can't see, to celebrate St. Patrick's Day, we've got hurricane glasses. Pat O'Brien's hurricane glasses from New Orleans. Yes. Yay. They're not exactly the same. Hold it back up. As each other? Yeah, they're a little bit different. Are they? This one's more bulbous on oh. the stem than yours. They're just a little bit different glass. <laughs> There's must have been different years. They're so fancy looking. They're so cute. Blue Hawaiian, yes. Woo. Woo. Is yours strong? Mine's really good. Yeah. You can say if it's too strong. No, it's it's, strong. mine's not strong. Mine is Orange Crush and Malibu Rum. Somebody asked if that was Sex on the Beach. That's my favorite drink out and about to order. I couldn't. Tell. I don't think. I don't. I haven't mastered mm -hmm. making them, though. I, uh. Couldn't reach the straw down low enough to stir the liquor oh. at the bottom, so it from the top. Okay. <laughs> Annie Pieces, she's challenging you to wear your hair down the whole the whole stream tonight. I'll see what I can do. I've got my ponytail holder ready, so we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what we'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> oh, and our friends are so funny. MB, you are the expert in bulbous stems. Yes, <laughs> that's true. I don't know if you've heard actually, but. It's on my business card. <laughs> <laughs> orange soda. Yes. Yes. Orange coat, orange soda and vanilla taste like a creamsicle. Yeah. <laughs> love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. My first time watching you. Jeffrey says, yes, Jeffrey is super good to us. We appreciate Jeffrey, Thanks, send, Jeffrey. sending over um, our, our new friends. So that's awesome. Joel Nadel, a girl after my own heart is drinking some whiskey. That's what I drink a lot of the time. Sandra Kay's already got her stimulus check. Has that happened here? Have you gotten any? No. no. Mm -mm. Wow, Sandra Kay, good, good for you. I heard they were going to go out by the end of the month, but that's really, that's really soon. I heard over the weekend, so I mean, direct deposit, maybe so. I think you had to have done your taxes already, though. Mm. I'm always an April 15th kind of girl. Look, it's Michelle. Michelle, comfy, cozy. Michelle, you should What's be. What's happening, Michelle? You should be in bed, asleep, and resting, and making your kids like wait on you. Sarah Lee Coleman uh, said, um, "Jeffrey sent her too." I know. We just love it. Yes. Oh, Jamie, her stimulus came today too. Wow. I didn't get my last one, so I'm not holding out much hope. Yeah, Laura got gypped on the last one. I work at the bank, and <laughs> you would think, you know, isn't it ironic that I didn't get mine? I know, right? I think I'm the only female on earth who drinks whiskey and tequila straight up. Girl, Ooh, straight up. I'm impressed. No, I can't do that. I don't particularly like whiskey, and I got incredibly sick once on tequila, and I can't, I can't do that <laughs> anymore. Are they going by 2019 or 20? I mean, it's my understanding that I think they're going by 20. I mean, the, the most recent one, the one that's coming up, the taxes that you're filing this time. Yeah, Laura didn't get the $600 one. Yeah. What was it? There was a $1,200 one and then a $600 one. I got the $1,200 one. That's a racket. So it's not like they didn't have my information. That's That stinks. Yeah, you guys don't forget when you're, you know, well, probably everybody knows that, though. So. If you didn't get your stimulus, you can file something with your taxes. Hi, Tammy Bennett. To let them know. She says, love you girls and your videos. Thanks. Hi, Tammy. Kara, I'm new to your channel. Welcome. Yay. Love it. Love, love, love our new people. Hey, if you're new, consider subscribing. We do this every Friday night. Here in about five minutes at 9.15, we do our Fat Bird Five. So every Friday night, we sell five items. We've got kind of a theme tonight. So we've got our little St. Patrick's Day glasses our pat o'brien's new orleans glasses um and we're also going to be selling not necessarily st patrick's day items but all of them are green <laughs> i think that's fun yeah so we've got five green items to sell tonight has anybody ever been to new orleans to pat o'brien's and had a hurricane no have you i have been to 
New Orleans, but I haven't been to Pat O'Brien's. But when I was in school, it was all the thing to do. The fraternity guys would go on spring break and all go down there. And that's what they always came home with. Pat O'Brien glasses. <laughs> I'm proud to report that he's still uh -huh. here. Laura did not take him. <laughs> he's still on the piano exactly where he was. Oh, <laughs> you, yeah, you would have seen him that back there behind us if we had been, you know, turned around in our usual position. Michelle, are you leaving us? Go take some pain meds. Good night, Michelle. Take care of yourself. Marco Polo me tomorrow. Let me know how you're doing. Let us know how you're doing. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Sarah Lee. That is so nice. Hey, hot mess. Hey, I caught hot mess, Amanda, on um, with Alex today on their joint sale. Uh huh. It was awesome. That's awesome. She had some really great stuff. Did she? Yeah, it was really good stuff. Cool. I love. She's it. on. His, she sells on Instagram some too, right? Yeah, yeah. So I had it on while I was working today. I was trying to keep up with the chat and work at the <laughs> same time. And uh, anyway, I heard Alex say that. She saw Hot Mess. She saw Amanda's preview on Instagram. And, uh -huh. and Alex was like, I'm wrapped up my game. <laughs> She's got really good stuff. <laughs> it was a good sale. That's awesome. Yes, yes, yes. I think they direct deposit my $1,200 one, but sent a check for the six hump. Oh, okay. So, so she got one of each. That's interesting. I did too. Nikki did too, she said. Mine were both direct deposited. That's weird. It's weird how everybody's is different. <laughs> Peterson said, yeah, she was working too. Quote, oh, working. Yeah. I can get away with it because I'm at my computer. And so I can just like make a little bitty small <laughs> YouTube screen like up in my corner and keep doing what I'm doing. Laura would probably get fired yeah, if she did that. That's nice. <laughs> that is nice. Okay. So. Here in three minutes, we're going to start selling our Fat Bird 5 items. We've got five green items tonight. So subscribe to us if you haven't already, guys. We're, we're so close to 3,000. Yes. When we get to 3,000, we're going to do a giveaway. Are we? Yeah. Oh, that's good to know. <laughs> you can't give away my pig. Well, I know. I'm not giving that away. Oh, speaking of the pig, I saw Catherine Young on here and... Um, Mary Beth showed me on Instagram where she was wearing her little, mm -hmm. her hoodie. <laughs> yep. And Angela Marksberry has hers. Aww. She sent me a picture. Love it. The next lady said she got hers on a card. What does that mean? Oh. Her stimulus check. Really? We're, we're hopping back and forth and, and um, oh, Relevant Ventures, subscribe. Thank you so Thanks. much. Yay. Um, Catherine Young. Yeah, that's my jam right there. Exactly. <laughs> Okay. Hey, I didn't know she was a graphic designer. Like yeah. Me. Yeah. She's like a jack of all trades fan. That's awesome. Yeah. She is awesome. Okay. <laughs> Isn't that the truth, Beth? So Beth. Laura's always last to know about the plans. It's true. That's how I like it. That's how we roll. I like to here. keep you in the dark. <laughs> Maybe I like surprises. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go into some, some rules for the Fat Bird Five because we've got just one minute coming up. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. So every Friday night we sell five items. We call it our Fat Bird Five. So the way that works is each item is going to have a price and each item is going to have an item number. If you're the first person to type the item number into the chat, you will win the opportunity to purchase the item. If you do win the opportunity to purchase the item, we need the following information. We need your YouTube name and your real name. We need your mailing address and we need your PayPal email address. And you can send all of that to fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. We do not require that you pre-register to buy from us, but we do like for you to send us the email. Even if you have bought from us before, it just makes it easier on us when we're invoicing. So I don't forget anything. Yeah. So that's awesome. Also, a couple of tips. If you if you feel like you're, you might be lagging, you can refresh now. Um, that'd be great. Also, make sure that you're in live chat and not top chat. Also keep into consideration that we do stream to three different platforms. We're going to YouTube, Facebook, and Periscope. So you guys don't see each other's chats. So if we get somebody in the mix that you may not see, I'm sorry. And also you will probably appear first in the chat. And that doesn't always necessarily mean that you're first. Greg, hi. Hey, Greg. See, I think that's it. 
I think you, I think you're right. Somebody just I just read in there that somebody said has, who's got vaccines. We all got vaccines. We did. Uh, we all got the first round. Laura, Nikki, and I have all gotten our first round. We got it last week, this past week. I got mine on my, this past Monday. Um, my oldest daughter got hers. Did I tell you that? No. Yeah, she got hers. Good. And uh, Megan messaged me today and said she signed up for hers. Nice. Good yep. deal. Great. So yep. it's exciting. We are half the way there. Okay. Michelle at Comfy Cozy Living. She's not gone yet. Michael got his second one today. Nice. Okay, guys. So that was the rules for the Fat Bird 5. So let's get it started. <laughs> This just in. Laura got her vaccine. One of two. How does that make you feel? Fantastic. You heard it here first. Breaking news. I just know you're going to fall over that. Yeah, over that cord. Well, don't let me. You want me to move up to the bench? Vinny, this just in. Tax returns this year are a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to start off with something little. Oh, look at this pretty little bowl. When I was writing it down, I said it looked like a leaf pattern, but it's that's not exactly what it is, but it sort of reminds me of those tobacco leaves, right? So it's, I love a square bowl. I think that's so cute. It is, it is not marked, no. <laughs> Carrie, she's distracting me. And I really don't know who the maker is for that. Yeah, it but doesn't it's, say. It's just a really cute little bowl. It could be a really cute little planter, little succulents, or really just anything. You could put your trinkets in there. You could put your jewelry in there at the end of the day. It's not super big. It's kind of, you know, in the palms of my hands there. Yeah, and it's um, just $8. $8. That's a bargain. Yeah, $8. And it's number 38. Number 38 for this sweet little green square bowl. leaf bowl <laughs> square leaf bowl <laughs> yes that's a cutie it's just really simple mm -hmm. that, that that's your style that's just your style i'm gonna follow that mm -hmm. i wish you would go with the other one that's what i keep telling you that you're you are going to do it here pretty soon <laughs> okay oh yeah that's just put cheese in there <laughs> yes i have got calypso antiques Awesome. Is that Clip right? So antiques. Okay. Is that what you had? Yes. I was reading the comments again, Maria. You love to do that. Thank you, Calypso Antiques. Thank you so much. It's a cutie. I love Somebody it. Somebody said it'd be cute for hair clips. That's so cute. Oh, it would be. Jelly beans. Yes. Okay, so Laura like and I bowl. Laura and I are are like disagreeing on what we think this might be. <laughs> when we picked this up at Goodwill. I thought it might be for a plant. I thought it might be a pot for a plant. And Laura was like, I don't think so. I think it's an ice bucket. Laura thinks that this is a really cool vintage ice bucket. And I think she's right. And it's got this really cool textured uh, pattern to it. Not a pattern, but you know what I'm saying. It's, it's textured glass. It's so cool. I mean, I guess it's sort of, it looks sort of like, and yeah, they're all saying ice bucket. It kind of... <laughs> It kind of reminds you of um, of the recycled glass. Yeah, it does. Maybe, you know, how we how we say texture glass when we're talking about that. Right. I mean, I know it's not because there was a bunch of these made. Right. In the 70s or whatever, that avocado green color. So, yeah, I think, cool. I think that this would be really cool on your bar, you know, with your really nice vintage glasses. Uh -huh. I love it. I do, too. Okay. It's, it's really sweet. And it's, it's not... And it's not super big. You know, a lot of ice buckets that you get are just huge. This one is a really nice size for just a little get-together party. Yeah. The only holdup is a lot of times ice buckets have lids. So it's, I think I saw somebody say in there, you know, maybe, you know, a bottle of wine or something. Oh. Like a wine chiller mm -hmm. type of thing because there's no lid. No chips or cracks. It's $12. $12. That's number 21. Number 21. Did you get your P.O. box yet? No. I am totally, now I'm just totally slacking. What'd you say? $12, number 21? Yes, I did. Okay. And it's green. And it's green. I know. It, it does the, look uh, funny. Sorry. The lights behind you. <laughs> Your fancy lights sometimes mess with the color of the item. Yeah. 
it's definitely green. Thank you. Shout. If you guys hear a crash, Mary Beth has tripped over the wires. <laughs> no, I haven't. Mm -hmm. Don't tell them that. Okay, this is my favorite thing of the night. Are you excited? Yeah, I can't believe you're letting that go. I know. <laughs> if you know me, you know that I like carnival glass. I collect circus um, art. And so I feel like the circus art with the carnival glass is kind of like a statement. Because it, I don't know, it's just a, it's a carnival. Right? <laughs> That's right. Exactly. So this is gorgeous, by the way. Mm -hmm. You're right. I don't know why I'm selling this. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so. That's the inside. Laura, tell, tell us what the pattern is. Okay, this is Northwood. So you can can you see the mark in the bottom? The little I don't end know. Northwood? It's in there. I don't know but if you can there. see it. And so that's the wild rose pattern. It comes in different colors. This one's this is the green one. And it's got the pierced edge. It's just so pretty. And I think they call those shell feet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And um so, yeah, I mean, I've seen, of course, it's not sold, but I mean, I've seen this bowl list a lot of times for like 90 or $100. Right, but that's listed. That's not sold for. I know, but still, it's just a beautiful bowl. That's, that just tells you how pretty it is. Smooth or bisque? No, it's not bisque. It's very smooth. So the inside of this bowl has that like carnival look to it. It's like iridescent on the inside. The outside looks like just green glass that end shows up really good when you're holding it up this way i don't know if it does for the camera on the inside but it's it's there so yeah that's northwood it's a really nice piece okay so we're going we're going with the um with thirty dollars on that okay because that's 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 the realistic kind of sold prices that that you see a lot for that bowl okay so thirty dollars and it's number 18. Yeah, the floral pattern on the outside, that's the wild rose part. You see that, right? Yeah. Okay. So would you say $30 what? Number 18. Number 18. Mm -hmm. Carrie said that she won a boobaroo on an online auction last night. It was described as a kitty with cape statue. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh my gosh, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's really great a kitty with a cape oh god that's so funny oh that's fantastic <laughs> okay guys a lot of you guys were interested so again i know that's a beautiful ball again you're gonna appear first in the chat most likely but the first person that we have first person that we have that came through on our end little thrifter on the prairie diane <laughs> isn't that cute name? i love that name very sweet. Little Thrifter on the Prairie Diane. Thanks, Little Thrifter on the Prairie Diane. <laughs> Appreciate that very much. What's a what's a boobaroo? <laughs> well, we'll show it to you after the Fat Bird 5. I'll make Mary Beth go get it. It's so funny. It's just, it's a kangaroo. <laughs> oh, Carrie's telling them. <laughs> yep. Okay. Our fourth item. Is this our fourth item? Yes. yes. Got a little nice uh, sherbet, sherbet cup, uranium. He glows really pretty. Yeah, he does. So, yeah, just a cute little sherbet. This is a small one. Right? Yes. I just love him. Of course, every we all love our little glowy uranium glass. One of these days, I'm going to fix something where you... You're really gonna, not going to want to turn loose of these pieces anymore. I'm going to fix you like a, a black light display. Are you going to do that really? Yeah, in your cabinets over there. And then you're going to like never want to sell any of it again. Right. Hey, we've got our eye on a really cool piece of uranium glass in an online auction coming up. Oh, yeah. I checked on it today. It's already up to like $40. Is it really? Yeah. Ugh. There's still two days to go. <laughs> it's really cool. We're not going to talk about it, though. We're not going to jinx it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so. So this would be a really nice addition to your uranium glass collection. 
Yeah, it's just $14. $14. And it's number 41. Katie, yes. Nice ribbed optic design. Thanks, yes. Katie. <laughs> Grandma 211 is new and she says, why only five items? Um, for right now, we can only do five items. <laughs> sometimes we have bonuses. Sometimes Mary Beth like makes five bonuses. <laughs> and that's all that we can really ship. We don't do this full time. We're not full time resellers. We just do this kind of as a side hustle. For, and we and we are on eBay as well. Yeah. So we we have an eBay store as well. So with our eBay sales each week and working full time jobs between the two of us each week, it's five yes. items is about as much as we're comfortable with. Every once in a while, we'll, we'll do a live sale. We'll do a pop up live sale every once in a while. But one of these days. I'm going full time, and when and when I do, we're gonna have a heck of a sale. Hashtag Laura <laughs> is doing this full time. Okay, guys. So, what was the number? Forty one. Yes, it's forty one. Okay, so the first person who typed in forty one, Anjo Gal's Needful Curiosities. That's a new name to me. Cool. Angel Gal's Needful Curiosities. She's I love the one it. that drinks <laughs> drinks her liquor yeah. straight up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yay. It took me a long time to write that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, also, we only do five so we can get to the fun part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, lots of new names tonight. That drink is good. I know, so good. That Malibu rum is so good. Okay, last item. We're on our fifth item. It's going to be a mystery box. It's a mystery. Yay, it's a mystery box. Now, we do our mystery boxes just a, t a tad bit differently than the like just standard price things. Uh huh. It's a game. It's, it's a game. Okay, so Charlotte, I'm new. <laughs> well, welcome, Charlotte. It's really good to meet you. <laughs> okay, okay. Mystery boxes. Here's the way we do our mystery boxes because typically lots of people are interested. So the, the mystery box is going to have a price. Tonight, it's a $20 mystery box. Because we're going to show you an item. When we do show you uh, one particular nicer item that we put in there, mm -hmm. we go for the $20. Okay. Item. So this right. mystery box is going to be $20. It will have an item number that we will tell you in just a moment. So when we tell you the mystery box item number, everybody who's interested in purchasing it will put it into the chat. Pretend that there's 50 people interested. We will spin a wheel for a random number between one and 50 and then say that number's four. We'll take the fourth person who was interested. Right? That's right. Did that make sense? Yes, it made sense. You just reminded me I've got to get my spinner out. <laughs> yeah, see, it looks like that. And we oh, call yeah. that. We're not going to be able to see it tonight. I'm yeah, practicing. we will. You're going to have to just hold it still. We okay. call it spin to win. So that's how we do our mystery boxes. We do a spin to win. Yay. Maybe we need a drink that's called spin to win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should spin and see who drinks what. Oh, maybe so. Okay, so mystery box is going to be $20 tonight, and he is going to have in it this little guy. He's going to be in here. So it's a frog, and he's playing a violin. He's playing a leaf. <laughs> Isn't he cute? He was one of our little finds that I found at the shed when I went without you. He's playing a leaf like a violin. So he's cute, and he's green, so he's with the theme tonight. I don't know if you can see it, but it's marked Japan right there on his foot. So he is made in Japan. He's a cutie. <laughs> he He's a little bit dirty. We need to clean him up before we get him in the mail. But I don't see any chips or cracks on him right off the bat, just looking at him. He's just a little bit dirty. He needs a good, he needs a good bath. He's so cute. So he's going to be the star of the show in the mystery box, but there's going to be other little, little goodies in there with him. Right. So he will be inclusive of the $20 obviously, and we'll fill up the rest of the box. Typically we, we ship our mystery boxes in those small boxes that Laura just showed. Mm -hmm. This one will have to be a little bit bigger to hold him, to wrap him, you know, 
Yeah, nicely. Okay, so $20 mystery box. He will have this green little guy in here, made in Japan. Yep, are you ready for the number? I'm ready. 66. Number 66. For me, for my birthday, for my birth year. My birthday is 66. I know, isn't that cool? My year is 66 and your month and day is 66. <laughs> Number 66, friends. While they're putting that in there, do you know that last night I was watching Patrick for a little bit mm -hmm. and he had he gave a range and had people guess the number for the mystery box and the first one to guess it. Oh, that's fun. That was kind of cute. He copied off us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, I'm going to start counting. Okay. You can talk while I'm The counting. frog is five swung faces. Thanks, Vinny. Vinny, did you get your package? All the packages went out, so if you didn't get it, you'll be getting it pretty soon. Any day. Any day now. He needs a top hat. You know what? That is what he looks like. A top hat and a cane. It was the Looney Tunes character, right? Where the frogs sang like that and he put the big top hat on with his little cane and sang Broadway. <laughs> okay, I think I counted 46. Get the holy water. There was a lot of sixes. That's true. <laughs> 46. Okay. Um, I think I counted 46. Okay. So let me fix my spinner. Last week was 48. <laughs> okay. Okay. Restart. There you go. Okay. Okay. That would have been, been terrible. For here me. we go. We're spinning. Spin to win. Just hold it still. <laughs> oh no. What is it? Oh God. What does it say? Hold I can't on. read it. It's oh, it's if you're it's blue. if you're colorblind, then that's a terrible app. <laughs> oh, that's but true because it's, it's like, is the dress blue or is it green? It's forty four is the number. <laughs> Good night, Here, you Rochelle. can see it in red up there at the top, maybe. Good night, Rochelle. Oh, we're so washed out, you can't see it, but it says forty four. I promise. Now you guys are going to be pissed off at me because I'm going to start <laughs> back at the top and count, and you guys are all going to say, "Marbeth, that's so dumb." And yeah, you're probably right, but <laughs> just in case I got the initial number wrong, I've got to start at the top. So don't yeah. be mad at me. I just like to make everybody happy. <laughs> and yet they're going to be mad at you. <laughs> okay, count with me. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 15, 16, mm -hmm. 17, 18, 19. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 42. <laughs> the number's 44. Oh, 42, 43, 44. 44. See, I did count wrong. I would have had it wrong. <laughs> so 44 right here, correct? That's it. It's Angela Mark's theory. Oh my gosh, Angela. Is she How the, lucky are is you? she the luckiest person in the world? Oh what? my gosh. See, I did count wrong the first time. I did. <laughs> I counted 40. Four, I counted what was the number that I said? 46? You said 40, you said 42. Oh, out of however many? Yeah, out of how many? 46. 46. It was actually 47. Oh. So anyway, see, so that's why I start from the top in case I mess up the first time. <laughs> anyway, it's Angela Marksbury, and Angela Marksbury is the luckiest person I've, I know. Angela, of. girl. <laughs> yes. That's so awesome. Good job, Angela. Yay. Okay. So guys, that concludes the Fat Bird 5 for this week. Yay. That's a good Fat Bird 5. Thanks. 5 out of 5. 5 out of 5 swung bases. <laughs> I don't have a bonus elephant this week. Congratulations, whoever got the Northwood Bowl. That's so pretty. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Little, little thrifter on the prairie. That's right. So pretty. We did it. Congratulations, Angela, on the mystery box. Yes. <laughs> Good job, everybody. And thank you. Thank you all for participating. Again, our email is fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. We've got, I know we've got Angela's information. A lot of new people, I think. 
tonight. So make sure you give us our, your information. We need, hold on, let me get put that graphic back up again. Your, oh, I've got too much stuff going on. <laughs> your YouTube name and your real name, your mailing address and your PayPal email address. And we typically do invoices on Sunday evenings, mm -hmm. typically. Yep. One more thing. You can email us if you would like a shirt. We do have, we ha we made a special order of shirts, but we have a few left. We have a few left. We have a few um, hoodies. It's mostly larger sizes that we have left. If you're small, medium, you're out of luck. Yeah, there's not any small. No more small, mediums. But there's some larger, like 2X. 2X, 3X. I think we've got a few t-shirts left and a couple. And some, and, and some XL. And a couple hoodies left. So, yeah. If, if you're skinny mini, you're out of luck. The t-shirts, I even have my t-shirt on underneath here. <laughs> it's hot in here. How do you have that on? <laughs> but, yeah. So I've got to put my hair up in a minute. The t-shirts are $15, and this this particular shipment of hoodies is $24. <laughs> we didn't realize really how much pricing was going to be on the hoodies. So they're probably going to be higher next time. But the ones that we have left... For right now, they're $24. Any larges left? Mary R says, I don't think so. I don't think we've got any left. Let me just look real quick. <laughs> oh, there's several that's got that got theirs. Oh, Cindy. You Cindy with a Y, you got yours. Oh, good. Hey, Cindy, you inspired my mom. My mom uh, got the long sleeve t-shirt as well. Yep. I have two large t-shirts left. I was wrong. There are two larges, but small and medium are out of luck. Little Thrifter and Prairie, I've got a shirt on the way, so I think you've got me in the system. Okay. Who said that? Uh, little Thrifter on the Prairie that got the Diane. really pretty bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Diane. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, two larges left. Um, if, if, you, if you're interested, send us an email, and we'll work with you. So Diane, we probably do. If you, if you don't mind just shooting us an email really quick, though, because the thing I have the worst trouble with is when we when we have shipping information, it's your real name, <laughs> and sometimes my brain doesn't put your real name with your YouTube name right. really all that quickly. So exactly, exactly. Yes, <laughs> Carrie wants socks next time. Socks, fat, fat bird socks. Yeah, <laughs> that's fun. That'd be great. Oh. I love it. The Michigan J Frog. I would have never guessed that in a million years. Me either, but he looks just like that. And not in a million years. What size do we wear? Big. Yeah. <laughs> I bought, I got this one really big and it's, I think mine's a 2X. I got, I think mine's an extra large. But my t-shirt's an extra large because they are, gen, they were, may I say generous, right? Don't yeah. You think? I think, because usually things are tied on me. Yeah. The sweatshirts I think definitely are generous. <laughs> Charlotte wants Snickers. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> okay. We got some friend mail. We did. Danny. Danny is in the chat tonight. And the niche lady, if you have not subscribed to her or watched any of her videos, you need to do that right now. <laughs> but she sent us something and it is so cute. Oh Wait gosh. till you see this. The um I think the note says something like Oh, wait, I'm, I'm, they're still talking about sizes. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, you guys can put in the chat how you think the t-shirts fit. I think they're pretty roomy. Um, okay. I, I just don't know what to say about this except that oh it's my God, it's so, so cute. cute. She's like, I saw this and you just thought you guys just had to have it because it looks just like you. <laughs> Look! Oh, my God. First of all, I, when I first looked at this, I told Mary Beth, I said, look at you, Mary Beth, over there with the side eye. And she goes, I am definitely not the side eye. I was that, like, I'm definitely the one rolling my eyes. And then I was like, oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> so, yeah, there's Mary Beth rolling her eyes and me giving her the side eye for rolling her eyes. Yeah. And, <laughs> look at that little ladybug, cute. too. Oh my gosh. Isn't that it's so sweet? cute? It's, it happens to be a bank, which is adorable. But I can't wait. I'm going to turn my little, um, I've got a little room that I'm going to turn into my little fat bird room. And I've got such cute stuff to display in there. Oh my Isn't God, that so great? cute? 
Michelle's gonna steal that the next time she visits. <laughs> no, I know, it's just so cute. <laughs> it's a cutie for sure. Your new logo. It's pretty darn cute. Charlotte says Fatbird finds underwear. <laughs> I knickers. Knickers. I'm into it. <laughs> I, I think that'd be great. I think that's great. <laughs> so thank you so much, Danny. This is freaking adorable. So yeah, I'm definitely rolling my eyes at Laura. Love it. I love it. Love so, it so cute. Much. So you too, yeah. <laughs> exactly. It just fit us so perfect. <laughs> All right. So let's see. And we got a really um we got a couple of really nice cards. Really nice thank you. I mean, yeah, thank you cards. And I think that's so sweet when you guys just take the time to do that. To just send a card and say, I like your channel. So sweet. Yeah. All right. We've got a little bit of content. It appears. What is this? Julia, day trip vintage high. What is all this? Anyway. What in this bag? Yeah. This is my this is a little um. This is a little mini layman's haul. That's what it is. I was trying to remember, but that's what it is. I kind of set things aside. <laughs> Here. I set things aside so that so that I can sort of be surprised when we get back out again. <laughs> uh, look at this. Isn't this cute? Mom, you're going to tell me again what this is. It's Hawaiian punch, Carrie. It's the blue, instead of the red Hawaiian punch, it's blue Hawaiian punch. It's, the liquor is not the blue part. Yeah, let me just tell you, it's the cheap way to make a really good drink because it's just, it's, I mean, it only costs like a couple of dollars for a gallon of that stuff. And you don't have to buy all those little fancy liqueurs and stuff that cost so much. True. The Malibu has, you know, the different fruity kind of flavors and then you can put it in the blue stuff. Mm -hmm. you can, it's really good in the green too if you're having a St. Patrick's Day party. Yes. Hey, we did that once. Aren't these? I know, and it was so good. Isn't this pattern like King's Crown or something like that, you guys? And a lot of times it's in red. I don't know. But that's pretty, right? It's a pretty little compote or candy dish. I like it. I think it's sweet. I don't know. What else is in there? That's a secret. Oh, oh yeah. That's, that's for you to give the baby. <laughs> Yeah, King's Crown. Very good. Somebody told me that. What is this? Oh, these are cute. Are they? <laughs> Somebody might like these. Is it? <laughs> these are little tins. Look, they're Betsy P's Goop Mints. What? They're what? They're, they're... I can't get used to this lighting like that. Like, I'm even good at this anyway. What words did you say? Betsy P's Goop Mints. Bessie, Bessie Peas. I don't know what that means. Well, she just does, she's, she makes these, fam she's famous for these prints of these babies. Oh. All different kinds of babies. So they made tins out of them. So aren't those cute? I think those are so sweet. Very, very nice. <laughs> those would be cute in a little live sale. I love those. Those are adorable. <laughs> Somebody said, I love her paintings. I know, they're so sweet. Here is a teacup for you. Oh, yeah, set that down, though, because I think there's there's a saucer to go with it. So okay. hang on for that. I think these are so, I think there's two of them, and they're so springy looking. I love them. Is that the other one? Oh, there's two. Okay, well, we'll, we'll show the saucers when, whenever you come across them. Look, you guys, look at these. Look how pretty these are. I just think those are lovely. It seems like a, a perfect item to call lovely. Have tea. We need to bring back the tea party. We need to have tea parties. Really? <laughs> you want to have a tea party with me? No. Here you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look. Yes. See how pretty, yes. the, sa see how pretty the saucers yes. are? Yes. You never see that much pattern in the saucers, usually. See? These are deep, too. So if you spill your stuff, it's not going to splatter everywhere. Maybe we should drink out it's, of these next I started week. Say, it's very improper, but you you know, to drink out of the saucer, but you can almost drink out of these. 
Somebody said so deco looking. Look at the little square handles. Aren't those sweet? You see, you do want to have a tea party if you want to drink out of those next week. Wait, I have to put my pinky up. <laughs> yeah, I want to drink out of these. Oh, good. Danny's back. She said I had to step away for a minute. I'm so glad you love it. Yes, we love it, Danny. Thank you so much. You're not drinking out of your. Mm. Oh, there yeah, I need to show the maker. Um, you're going to have to help me out, Mary Beth. I can't see. Let's see. Royal Albert, Crown China, England. Yes. Let's see. Focus. Focus. There we go. <laughs> it's not one to focus, but that's what it says. Royal Albert, not Crown Charlotte. China, England. Good night, Charlotte. Yes, I just think those are beautiful. Love those. Love it. What else do you have in here? I don't know. Here's some salt and pepper shakers. Yes, there's new mood lighting tonight. We've got our pink, yeah. our orange and blue lights behind us. We worked real hard on those. We're really trying to be brand ambassadors for ourselves. Yes, look, Julie. We made hurricanes. Pull yours back up again. Oh. Here you go. See, we made hurricanes in the fatbird colors. So cute. Yes. Is spiked tea a thing? I don't know that that's a thing. Long Island iced tea, but there's no tea in it. True. Okay. These are cute. Look. I don't think they're vintage. Not very vintage anyway, but aren't those sweet? Those are cute. Really cute little salt and peppers. I hope that the pe the tape, all that tape does not take the paint off when we... I know. That's one thing I hate about like Goodwill taping up all their stuff is... Those darn, um, all, all that tape, it's hard. Mm -hmm. It worries me when I unwrap something valuable. Mm -hmm. Oh, these will be cute. I'm, I'm going to put these back for our little package, package toppers. toppers for Christmas time. Look at that pink one. And they're playing cards. Yeah. See? That would be hard to play cards with those. <laughs> I think they're so cute. <laughs> what is this? Three blind mice. It's like a nursery rhyme plate. Oh, that's sweet. It's a little cereal bowl. Here. It's Mother Goose. See, Mother Goose is in the bottom. Oh, you can see that better than I expected. Yeah, and around the rim it says three blind mice. Hmm. And what's that little... What does that say? Little Miss Muffet? I don't know. Yeah, Little Miss Muffet and Little Bo Peep. Little Bo Peep. Isn't that cute? Very cute. Yeah. And it's just slight. Well, you can see it there. It's pink. All right. Good job. Oh, this Gee found a lot of these things, and she is so proud of this one because we are Cardinal Cardinals fans, fans around Cardinal here. Cardinal fans. <laughs> um, this is a Bush Stadium tin. Open it up. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I was like, where is that coming from? <laughs> That's fun. That's cute. This is the old Bush Stadium. So yeah, maybe we'll put that on eBay. Nice. Cute. Love it. They're all talking about <coughs> making Long Island. Ice Don't teams. choke. Sorry. Oh, is this? there still more in this bag? Yeah, there's one more thing. Okay. What is this? Oh, this is the best thing in there. I forgot about it. Really? You guys are going to flip out. Jamie, I should have probably just held this back and let you. I should have probably just privately sent you a picture of this. It just looks like something you would like, Jamie. Wow, you this watching? is pretty neat looking. <laughs> so it's like a, I guess just like a little wall tapestry. Right? Yeah. Remember, those are called bell pools. Bell pools. That's what you call them. Of course, they're for, they're decorative in the 70s. Because you see that lovely crushed velvet on the back. <laughs> so 70s. But somebody hand stitched that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love that. Look at that. Mushrooms, bees. Oh my gosh, insects. it's really tall, too. Yeah. It's very cute. Isn't that adorable? Love it. 
Jamie said so boho. fussing over that tag. Okay. Jamie said so boho. Yeah, it's like it comes up to here on Are me. Are you yelling at me? Yes. Goodness. It's tall, right? Uh, yeah, that's really cool. I like yes. it. I think that's fantastic. So you don't think that this somebody bought this this way? You think somebody did it themselves? <laughs> oh yeah, I think that's hands I think it's hand stitched. All right. It just because they're so decorative, it was always a thing. You know, you used to see a lot of needlepoint, just needlepoint ones, you know, the little half <laughs> stitches you. that are just needlepoint. All right. Karen Fitzgerald, there is a fungus among us. <laughs> that sounds like something Laura would say. <laughs> I love oh, it. Good job. Thanks. Well done. Thanks. It's a very cute little haul. Oh, I love those emojis. Day trip vintage. She had her little butterflies and mushrooms. By the time I did that, we'd be onto a different subject. It would take me so long to put those on there. Everybody's like, bless you, Nikki. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Susan Funderberg, will these items be in your eBay sales? Yes and yes, <laughs> eventually. Yes. So we do accept emails. So if you're interested in an item, you can always send us an email to fatbirdfinds at gmail.com and we can email a price back to you and work with you that way. Because it sometimes takes us a while to get things up on eBay. Mm -hmm. So if ever you see anything in, a, in one of our videos that you're interested in, you can always reach out to us in an email and we'll try to work with you that way. And we will obviously take the first person who's interested. So in some of our videos, we'll have multiple people ask over an item. We will work with the first person first. If they decline, then we'll go to the next person and so on. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Well, I want to know about the sushi department. Oh, yeah. Carrie wants to know if you're sick. No, no. She just is sitting over there drinking her drink. And Jamie she started sneezing. Jamie's the one having the sushi debacle. What's the problem? Jamie said she was only half watching because I said that she would like that, so she probably didn't see the. Is mushrooms. it is it like Sex in the City the movie where you're waiting for Blake to get home and you were laying on your kitchen table <laughs> with your body covered in handmade sushi? <laughs> Is it that kind of debacle or is your delivery not on time or is it that kind of debacle? Or did you, or did the delivery guy just stuff a bunch of sushi up your tailpipe? Right. Or is it that kind of debacle <laughs> with you, Jamie? <laughs> you never know. So, you know, you could be having a Samantha Jones issue. <laughs> you know, what if? Oh, it's so <laughs> funny. <laughs> <laughs> I decided I didn't want to do that. Interesting. All right. All Sorry right. If I All right, friends. Okay. You ready? We have games. We do. Well, I tried to find something we haven't played in a while. So, what do you want to play? I don't know. What are you in the mood for? Whatever. I'm in the mood for whatever you're in. The How mood do I find for. your eBay store? Do you link it? Do you put the link down there? We always do. The link should be in the description of this video. I think that I, I think it's I think it's in there. And then also, if you go to our channel, if you go to our channel on YouTube, we've got links up there in our banner. So we've got links to our Instagram page and our Facebook page and our eBay store. You can find our eBay store there too. And it's it's called Fat Bird Finds. What? Are you mad at me? Yes. Laura was tapping on that box, and I was like, stop. I like to be mad at you. Oh, my God. Do you like to be mad at me? Yes. Though? Yes. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. Let's, what do you have here? I think we should do an after-dinner quiz. That's true, Jamie. That's true. Okay, after-dinner quiz. Maybe everybody, Jamie hasn't had her dinner yet. <laughs> It's a debacle. She may not ever have it. It's true. Okay. Oh, did Jeffrey have a bad troll tonight? Those happen every once in a while. <laughs> the troll was super nice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was a nice compliment, but no. 
Auntie Christy, I've, yeah, I don't even have on any anything tonight. I barely, I didn't even have my watch on earlier. I threw that on at the last minute. So yeah, I'm just not with it today for some reason. Okay, are you ready? Yes. What is the term for drinks which are served after a meal? After dinner drinks. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, say it again. What is the term for drinks which are served after a meal? Drinks that are served after a meal. Okay, here's your choices. You want two choices or four? Two. Okay. Oh, wait. Is any of this correct? Oh. They don't even need... They don't Some even... French word. Yeah, they don't even need choices. What was it? Okay. Here's here's the choices. I, I don't, I don't right? see the correct answer. No. Okay. Aperitifs is a choice, but it was not the correct answer. Okay. Liqueurs. Okay. Nightcaps or digestifs. I would just say after the meal drink. <laughs> I know, right? Aperitif. Is, is that before the meal then? I don't know. Because the answer, you want to do the answer? Hold it still. Digestifs. Digestifs. I've never even heard of that. All right. Very nice. Oh, look. Finally. Well done. That's hard. Yep, that was a hard one. What else do you have? Okay. The first known book about appropriate behavior or etiquette was written in which country? Oh, my gosh. Ah, this is great. The first known book about etiquette? Is that what you said? Say yes. it again. The first known book about appropriate behavior. You need that. You need a book about appropriate behavior. Great. Etiquette. Was written in which country? I would say... Here's your choices. So okay. Your choices? Yeah, I need choices. Okay. Italy, Greece, Egypt, or Iran? Mm, I'm going to say Egypt just because that sounds random. There's a lot of England, <laughs> which is not correct. I'm going Egypt. Guess what? What? Was I right? Yes. You got it. I wouldn't have gotten How that. did you get that? Well, just because it seemed random from the other three. <laughs> so, yeah. Were you a good test taker in school? No. No. I was a horrible student. <laughs> I was a, I was a pretty good student in high school, but when I went to college, it all went downhill. I was not a very good student. Oh, I can't see. I, I mean, I can't say those words. So you I were probably a fantastic test taker. Yes, ma'am. She's like, yes. Yes, I was. <laughs> yes, I was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Egypt. That must have been a really long time ago. Absolutely. Who knew they were so proper? And behave so appropriately. Well, they were the first to do a lot of stuff. Like That's most right. stuff. Okay. This is a really good one. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. Traditional etiquette dictates that dinner guests should arrive when? Ooh. Should they arrive slightly late? Should they arrive early? Should they arrive very late? Or should they arrive on time? I would say on time. I mean, that seems normal to arrive on time from where you're supposed. I mean, if somebody, Jamie, I was a straight A student and never studied. Yes. <laughs> High five. Great. I never studied. <laughs> Great. Good for you. I mean, I don't like it when people show up really early. <laughs> somebody said 21 minutes early. <laughs> funny <laughs> a lot of people are saying slightly late you think on time is i would say on time guess what thank goodness for me <laughs> what does it say slightly, slightly late. late good job guys sorry it's focusing on your pretty face <laughs> oh laura isn't that nice mm -hmm. i didn't know you could be nice i could be nice like a troll all right Okay. Oh, no, I can't. Some of these names and stuff I can't pronounce. <laughs> Can you pronounce this? Yeah. Okay. 
Mm, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, you ready? Whose Fender Stratocaster guitar did Microsoft CEO Paul Allen purchase for a rumored $2 million? Ooh. Okay, so Paul Allen purchased a rumored guitar for $2 million. Jimi Hendrix. Whose Fender Stratocaster was it? Your choices are Jimi Hendrix, George Harrison, Jimmy Page, or Eric Clapton? Ooh, Eric Clapton. Jimi Hendrix, George Harrison, Jimmy Page, or Eric Clapton? Whose Fender Stratocaster guitar did Microsoft CEO Paul Allen purchase for a rumored $2 million? Hmm. Would you know this? No. But what are you staying with your answer? Yeah. It is Jimi Hendrix. Yay! Good job. Did you know that Jimi Hendrix was left-handed? And he played a right-handed guitar back upside down. No. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. That's fascinating. So, yeah, he played a right-handed guitar flipped over. Huh. Left-handed. That's fascinating. That's what I heard, anyway, about Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, I mean, I didn't know him. Hey, Danny said I had a boyfriend who did that. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. That's very cool. Okay, this is kind of switching gears. I haven't really figured out the theme. This is after dinner. I think it's just random stuff. I don't think there is a theme. I know, but we pulled all those dinner questions out there right in a row. Right in a row. I thought they were all dinner questions, but they're not. Who was Butler to Lord Grantham in Downton Abbey? I know. <laughs> That's easy. Thrifting in the holler got her shirt today. Yay! Say it again in case somebody missed it. Who was Butler to Lord Grantham in Downton Abbey? You know what I find interesting about this question? They capitalized the word Butler. Mm. I guess I that's proper. I would not have thought that. You think it's like like Mr. or Miss or something like that? That kind of a thing where you... Maybe. Maybe so. Oh, we had a lot of people answer this one. Any first names? Charlie. <laughs> is that right? Why can't I remember his name? So is that right? Can't... Well, this is Charles. Charles. Charles Carson. Bates. Mr. Bates. Mr. Bates. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bates was a wannabe. Ugh, I didn't <laughs> like Bates. He was the worst. <laughs> I need to know what Charlotte thinks about that show. She went to bed. Yeah. Dang it. <laughs> Did anybody like Bates? I thought he was the worst. Did you like him? I uh, know. I didn't actually. Really? Mm -hmm. We agree on something? Wow. Was that surprising? That's yeah. shocking. That shocking. I liked that show. That was a good show. My mom liked that show, which is shocking. <coughs> Where's my mom? Yeah, anyway, she's not on She's here. like. Totally ditched us for her husband. Now she's gone and got married. Imagine that. With her husband. It's like, what else do you have to do besides be my mom? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, does she is that's all she should be thinking about, in my opinion. I'm kidding. All of you new people, I'm kidding. Okay. Here's, this is randomly different. <laughs> We've got some Bates lovers. This is this is randomly different. That's all good. No, he was sweet. I'll, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I'm sorry. I didn't want him to go to jail. Oh, no. Spoiler alert. I don't want anybody to go to jail. <laughs> okay. Mago Island, Fiji, is a private retreat owned by which celebrity? Do you guys need choices for that one? Wow, was that 12-year-old MB talking? No. That was adult ass Mary Beth talking. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear you. I wasn't listening. Mm -hmm. Let's try again. Uh, M A G O, Mago Island, Fiji is a private retreat owned by which celebrity? I'll give you choices. Okay. I was going to, I'll let them answer for a little bit now then. Is it Mel Gibson, Hugh Jackman, Kate Blanchett? Or Nicole Kidman? I don't know, man. 
I don't know. Blanchett and Kidman are both Australians, right? And Jackman is Australian. Mm. Who's the other one? The Fiji's not Australian. Mel Gibson. Maybe it's Mel Gibson. He's the only one that doesn't have I anything. Think he might be Australian too. Mel Gibson? Maybe no. All of the above. <laughs> Mel is Australian also, somebody says. Stop. That's what I thought. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. <laughs> then I don't know. I have no idea. But you are right, Mary Beth. You should have stayed with your. Was it Mel Gibson? Yes. I didn't know that. <laughs> wow. You learn something every day. Didn't know it. Mm -hmm. Good job, everybody. Well done, everybody else but me. All those Aussies and their islands. Very nice. I learned something today. I didn't know that. Oh, here we here we go. Here's one for the cheese lovers out there. Here we go. We are always teasing Misty about wanting to put cheese, serve cheese and everything. Okay. This one's good, but I don't know how to pronounce this. Can you pronounce that? No. It's it's P U L E. Yeah. Like the cheese. I guess it's Pule, like mule. P U L E. Apparently, it's the, it's the most reportedly the world's most. Okay, so Pule, P U L E. Don't know how to pronounce it. Reportedly, the world's most expensive cheese is produced in which country? Mm -hmm. Pule, P U L E. Timothy Blanchett. Are you related to Kate? Timothy? I didn't know. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Why is that funny? I want you to... Can we start all over? Laura's so mad at me today. I am. Can we start over? Do you want... We're like airing our dirty laundry <laughs> to the world. Would you like choices? You're not even us? playing with me. You're so mad at me. And now I'm going to get mad. Is it... <laughs> is it Slovenia? Serbia? Montenegro or Croatia? I didn't even know those places made cheese. I don't know. Say them again. One more time. Slovenia. Bye, Cindy. Serbia, Montenegro, and Croatia. I have no clue. No, <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. One of those. <laughs> it is Serbia. Nobody's really guessing that. Serbia. I saw some Serbias earlier. Did anybody? Oh, did you? Yeah. Even without the choices? No. Oh. I think we had the choices in there. But maybe I was wrong. I, I, I wasn't really watching because you were mad at me. <laughs> uh. Pule cheese or some other word is Ser Serbian cheese made from 60% Balkan don Balkan. donkey milk. Oh, and 40% goat's milk. That sounds terrible. <laughs> Laura's a very picky eater, aren't you? Uh, Would yeah. you try it, though? I guess maybe just because since you can call it cheese, which is something that I do like sometimes. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> They're all commenting on my hair still down. Uh -huh. The more you comment about it, I'm more aware of it. <laughs> it makes me want to put it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, Jamie. Oh, Jamie. You guys behave. Donkey milk sounds like code for other things. Mm. Side eye. That's what Carrie said. I'm the side eye. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What does... Here's a good one. I'm ready. You, you're not going to get this. Okay. What does the R in RSVP stand for? And it's a, it's a French word. I know. I know it. <laughs> Somebody said we're digressing quickly. Yes. Yes. 
It happens. Please answer this question. Does anybody know? Mm. No, I didn't know it. Oh, Zeno. Hey, Zeno. Oh, Zeno got it right. Of course he did. Jamie did too. Several people got it right. Catherine Fell wants to know who milks the donkey. Oh my God. The donkey milker. Mary, <laughs> there was your choices. I should have read all the choices. I should have butchered all those French words for you guys. That would have been funny. You took French. You could probably pronounce those words. Danny said y'all had time to go Google. <laughs> I, <laughs> oh, I could, yeah, I could butcher them up really good. You don't want to say them? Mm -mm. What? Oh, Nikki sees her comments before we do. Mm -hmm. Are we switching gears? Yeah, do you want to? Sure. All right. Oh, this are going to be... Or this. You want to do the, yeah, let's do the that movie one. game? Yeah, let's do that one. I think we don't have enough light to do this. Probably true. This one. That game. It's going to be okay. So what do we think? Do we like this way better or do we would we rather face the piano what do you guys think i was thinking this blank wall because i could shine my lights back there and i thought that might look good but i don't it doesn't matter to me i like to please everybody else people are laughing at you i'm trying to remember which one of, we don't want to do the same ones over i'm trying to remember which one of these we did before yeah. What are we doing? Carrie, I don't know. Laura's trying to find <laughs> a game. Mm, yes. Piano. Peterson says the piano. Okay, maybe we'll... Are you streaming with the M50? I don't know what that means. No, 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 I'm not. Um, I got a new webcam, and that's what I'm using. It's it's hard to work with, though, because it's it really washes everything out, and so there's virtually no lights on in here. I mean, it's really dark in here. Laura probably can't even read this book. It's so dark in here, but it doesn't appear that it is. So anyway, we've been playing with our lighting for like days. Mm -hmm. Let's just do this one. It doesn't matter if we did it before, right? Okay. Should I show the picture? Yeah. You can show the picture. Okay, what's the question? What movie is this? Yeah, oh, that's easy. Well, the first question can be what movie it is. Okay, first question, what movie is this? Okay, I'm already seeing the correct answer. I think the bonus questions are the hard ones. You've got mail. Okay, awesome. I love when Harry met Sally. This is not that, but close. Okay. She looks like that in this movie. In that Here's movie. your bonus question. What was the name of Joe's family bookstore chain in this movie? Joe's family bookstore chain. That's pretty easy. It, there's the answers over there really tiny. I don't need the answers. Oh. I don't think I know the answer to that. I love... Oh, Katie Garnett. Katie. That's your favorite movie, too. I love rom-coms. Oh, my God. Whatever. <laughs> Nikki. I have to tell the truth. The people need to know the truth. The people. So, okay, so... Fox books. So, what's Meg Ryan's name? In this movie. Yeah, but no, that's not the that's not the question. The question is what are their email names? What are their handles? Mm. Ah. What are their handles when they're chatting to each other? What's okay, so we'll start with Meg Ryan. What's Meg Ryan's uh handle? Do you know? I don't. I do. Do you really? Yeah. Hers is shop girl. Okay, so what's his? What's the other guy? What's his name? What's his name? Tom Hanks. What's Tom Hanks? His, I wouldn't have gotten his. 
what's his handle? His uh, Katie Garnett. What is it? Help me. <laughs> this one's harder. Somebody's gonna Google it probably. <laughs> My Katie says NY one twenty five. NY one. Wait. NY-152. Oh, my gosh. That was so close. That was really close, Katie. NY-152. <laughs> I said 515. Very nice. Oh, okay. Close, and your last bonus question is, what is Tom Hanks' dog's name in this movie? Tom Hanks' dog's name in the movie. Hanks. Nikki's like, oh, I got it. Foxy Brown. This is a great guess, Carrie, but that's actually not it. Oh, that one's close. I got it. Little Thrifter on the Prairie Diane. That's close. Nikki got it. Brinkley. Brinkley. Good job, Nikki. Katie got it too. Good job, Katie. Spot, Muffin, it's a good guess. Great guesses. Great guesses, but it was Brinkley. Do you have our next movie? Mm-hmm. Okay. I love this movie. Laura loves this movie. Well, that's easy. What movie is that? That's an easy one. My favorite thing to say about this movie is that I went out and bought this dress. <laughs> when I saw this movie. <laughs> I've never done that before or since. But somebody I said, sure did. Somebody said read Xenos comments. I'm waiting for Cards Against <laughs> Humanity. This is too vanilla. No kidding. We're going to have to look into that. Yeah. Um, we, we talked last week about having like an after show if you and George were not having a, <laughs> a, a, a dance party one night. And maybe doing like a, a more risque game. Maybe we'll do that. Little Thrifter on the Prairie Diane. I went out and got the hooker outfit. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Did you get the hat too? Lisa Day wants to know. No, I did not have the hat too. But you got the say. brown polka dot dress. Absolutely. I got brown and white spectator heels to go with it though. Do you have a picture of that? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I do or not. I think she and I are exact, I'm almost exactly the same age. So you're always okay. Saying. Bonus question: What was the one thing that Vivian would not do for a trick? What was the one thing that Vivian would not do? Jimmy says, please let there be a picture. <laughs> Quit moving I'm that. Sorry. Well, you hold it then. Okay. Quit fussing at me. Surely somebody's going to start taking up for me any minute with you fussing at me like that. People are getting the right answer. Mm -hmm. Kiss on the mouth. Kiss mm -hmm. on the mouth. That is the correct answer. Okay. Next question. Oh, Carrie's never seen it. Oh, you need to see it. It's a good movie. It's a pretty good movie. I love rom-coms. They're really important to me. <laughs> Zeno, we can roll the dance party into the 18-plus stream from Paducah. It'll give me time to change outfits, LOL. <laughs> yes. That sounds great. <laughs> I love it. Be nice to Laura, Lisa Day says. Thank you. I will. I'll change my tune. Okay, what's the next one? Oh my gosh, you're in such a hurry. I mean, the next question. Laura's mad at me. What state did Vivian grow up in? What state did Vivian grow up in? Do you know that one? That one's hard. I don't think I would have. I would have known that one. I don't know that one. Please let it be Kentucky. It's not Kentucky. <laughs> New York, Montana, Texas, no idea, Oklahoma, New York, <laughs> Alabama, Nebraska, I New Jersey. I can't wait to hear this. 
How does how do we New even York, know that? Missouri, she Nevada, to, Illinois, Texas, Oklahoma. Nobody's gotten it yet. Indiana, really? Washington, Kentucky, New Jersey, Iowa, Michigan, Georgia. Georgia. Nice. That's a Georgia. that's a tough one. Yes. All right. Last bonus question is, how much did Vivian and Edward negotiate that he would pay her to stay with him for the full week? How much money? Ooh. How much money did Vivian and Edward negotiate that he would pay her to stay with him for the full week? Was it $2,000? A million. <laughs> Three thousand is correct, Anjo. Very good. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very very well done. What do you think it would be if the movie was made today? I don't know. It would be a lot. Wouldn't it? <laughs> we probably would have said something more like ten thousand. A bunker full. Are you going to choose? You can choose. Mm, this is a good one. Oh, this is a good movie. Here we go. Let's see. Yes, I know. It's, yeah, it's, whew, it's hot in here. <laughs> okay. Does anybody know this movie? Laura, do you know that movie? Um... It's a good one. Yes, but I think you're the one that I watched that with you. I had never seen it before. Mm -hmm. Yes, Nettie. <laughs> Nettie coming through and Angela Mark Sperry. Pleasantville. That is correct. Good job, guys. Great movie. Very good movie. Unexpectedly good movie. I think. Yes. Okay. What was the first thing to appear in color in the town? What was the first thing to appear in color in this, in this movie in Pleasantville? <laughs> I'm pasty. <laughs> yes, that's correct. Jamie, it was a rose. Good job. Very, very nice. Well done. I see Jamie likes that movie. It's a great movie. Oh, this is a hard one. I don't know. You guys might not get this one. It's pretty hard. What was the name of the high school basketball team in Pleasantville? I, nice. wouldn't, I wouldn't have known that. What was the name of the high school basketball team? Good grief. It's also a really good movie, Sugar Bridges. High school basketball team in Pleasantville. Was not the Goobers. <laughs> Wildcats? Somebody said with a whole bunch of exclamation points. Yeah, that one's a hard question if you've, obviously, if you've never seen it. But it's not a, one of the more popular movies, so that one's pretty hard. It's the Lions. I wouldn't have gotten that one. I wouldn't have gotten it. It's so great. It starts out in black and white and then eventually goes to color. This is so hard. <laughs> I'm going to try to find a, one that's more familiar. That was familiar to you because you love that movie. Yeah. Oh, some, that's a good one. Some of those in there, I don't know. Oh, my gosh. You're just getting your sushi? Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. Okay. We're probably going to have to cut this uh, short tonight because Laura's got to work in the morning. Yeah. That's keep, a bummer. I keep forgetting. I'm sorry that I brought that back up. What is this movie called? It's also a very good movie. Oh, I know the answer to this. Sugar Bridges, I saw the ones that you posted earlier today. Oh, my gosh. 
hilarious. You didn't show those to me. Well, I mean, you can get on Instagram and <laughs> see them for yourself. Yes, Aaron Brockovich. Very nice. That's a great movie. Oh my gosh, this is a hard question. Okay, what was the toxic element being introduced into the township's water supply? That's hard. What was the toxic element being introduced into the township's water supply in Aaron Brockovich? Oh my gosh. I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> What's she said got chromium it. nine? It's chromium six. Very good. Very impressive. I wouldn't have gotten that. Very, very impressive. But it's it's called hexavalent. Hexavalent. Hexavalent chromium. Hexavalent. And then in parentheses, it says chromium six. Very nice. Good job. Okay. So in the movie, um, what's her name? Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts holds a beauty queen title. What is her beauty queen title? <laughs> what is her beauty queen title in Aaron Brockovich? Um, I don't remember. Yeah, that's pretty hard. Miss Tater Day. <laughs> Miss Tater Day. That joke's lost on everybody. Yeah. <laughs> no, nobody's getting it. It's Miss Wichita. That was hard. Miss Wichita. All right. Do you want to sh like ask like two more questions or should we do one more movie? We'll ask it. I'll ask you a couple more questions. Okay. Does that be good? Yeah, it'd be great. And then we'll call it a day. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already, guys. We're like around a hundred to go for three thousand. We're so excited. We're going to have a giveaway. I can't wait. What was the answer to the beauty pageant question? Miss Wichita. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I remember that. No. Do you? Miss Wichita. Okay. A couple more of these questions real quick. We'll always have Paris as a legendary line from which movie? Mm. We'll always have Paris. Oh, somebody wants a Mountain Dew update. I haven't had one. I still haven't had one yet. That's pretty impressive. Are you, you looked at me skeptically. No, it's pretty impressive. No, I haven't had one yet. I'll be honest with you, though. I really wanted one. It was about a week ago or so. I really wanted one bad. And there's four. I'm like an idiot. I still got four in my refrigerator. You need to toss those. I know. I mean, because they're not very expensive. I know. I know. But anyway, no, I haven't had one yet. I'm doing, I'm, st I'm still on the wagon. You guys will be the first to know if I fall off the wagon. So we had, um, was it Casablanca? Yes. Casablanca? Casablanca? Yes. However you it. say that. That is How it. do you pronounce that? Casablanca? That's what I would say. Yeah. Casablanca. That's probably the American way to pronounce it. <laughs> We had some, we we were on Misty's channel Monday night mm -hmm. with the Cult of Vintage, Michael Todd and uh, Michelle Comfy Cozy Living, mm -hmm. and somebody um, brought up the fact that we should try playing some like old traditional games, like talking about the rules to older games, vintage games, and stuff like that. Yeah. So here's a question: In the game of Contract Bridge, how many cards is each player dealt at the start of the game? I have no idea. I've never played bridge. Have you ever played bridge? No, we tried. <laughs> we tried really hard when I was younger. Um, there were two couples of us and we played spades all the time. Mm -hmm. and we loved it. 
but we played all the time. So it was like, we should just like learn something new, like bridge. We could never get the hang of it. Somehow you're supposed to keep points separately, like above the bar and below or something like that. And we could never, all we ever had were points on the top. So that's what we called it. Let's play points on top. <laughs> I mean, we could never get it, never could get it right. Yeah, I don't know what that means. I've seen the answer. What is the answer? It is 13. Very good. 13. Good job. So that means, yeah. Okay. Good job. So bridge was very mid-century because, you know, people had time to do things like that back then. Right. The girls all got together and had their bridge partners and everything. My grandmother, our, our game around this area, I really think it's like a regional game, was high nine. My, my, my every, mom's too. All the older generation people around here, the game was high nine. So that's my favorite card game because mm -hmm. I grew up watching my grandparents play it. It's fun. They, my mom on her side of the family, um, they play high nine. And, but I remember being very small in my great grandmother's house and she loved to play um, canasta. Mm. And they, that's, so they, that's my dad's side of the family. And they always played that. Gotcha. Cool. Yeah. My mom likes to play Rummy. She plays that all the time with her new husband. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really not salty about it. He's a super <laughs> nice guy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Gosh. I keep getting questions that I can't pronounce. One more question. Okay. There was a game we called that had trump cards, but I can't remember what it was called. Uh, high nine has trump cards. Like, like you yes. call it, you call a trump. It's, it's, sim Spaces it's too. high nine is similar in a way to um, rook, but, but different. There really are a lot of dinner questions in here. <laughs> Here's another one. At a formal dinner, charger plates should always be removed before serving which element of the meal? According to whom? Emily Post? I guess, I guess the, these um, Egyptian experts on say appropriate it, behavior. Say it one more time. <laughs> oh, Bunko. <laughs> Bunko. Is that what we played that one night? Yeah, I don't remember anything about it except it's stressed me out. Oh, I, I, I've been wanting to do that again. One of my one of our friends took took all of us to some church basement one night, and we played Bunko, and that was really fun. I think it's fun. Yeah, that was fun. I would like to do that again. It makes for a really good fundraiser. Yeah, that's the dice game. That's Bunko. That's fun. Yes, dessert is the answer. You have to remove the charger. The charger plates. Okay. Before you serve dessert. You know what a charger plate is? Yes. Okay. Zeno, I love the game with the pig dice. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't think I know that either. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to cut this one a little bit short tonight. We've been on about an hour and a half because um, Laura has to get up and go to work in the morning. Maybe we'll teach everybody how to play Bunko next week. I don't know if I remember. We'll have to get Amy Sullivan to come over. Yeah. Or and and we can everybody. Look it up. Yeah. That'd be fun. I wish we could play that like somehow digitally. That would be fun. I doubt that. I don't think that's a thing. That would be fun. You don't think you can like, you don't think there's like a digital app or something where you could like roll dice? Maybe. Maybe so. We'll see. Okay, guys, give us a give us a like if you haven't done that already. Somebody has pig dice in their purse. <laughs> what is pig dice? I don't know. I want to know. I'm going to have to look that up. Mary Beth, oh wait, go back to Amanda's comment. My manager at work used to call his stepdad faux pas when he told me that I died. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's that's really funny. great. That's a great name. I love that. <laughs> that's so good. What should we have everybody come back and comment after the video posts? Um, let's see. Maybe your favorite board game. Yeah. Okay. That's a good one. After this video post. Or card game. Or card game. After this video post, come back and leave us a comment. Um, let us know what your favorite card game slash board game is. What your favorite pastime is with your family. Mm -hmm. That'd be fun. We like to know those, fun, those kinds of things. Yeah. Okay.
So Laura, I hope that you have a good day at work tomorrow. Thanks. It's going to be great. I bet you have a really good day. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> okay, guys, make sure that you are subscribed. Make sure that you like, come back and comment. Let us know what your favorite games are. Make sure you stay tuned to see what Fatbird finds next. See you next time, everybody. Good night.